October is Women's History Month in Canada, and it's a time to celebrate women and girls from our past, our present, and who are contributing to a better Canada and making it more inclusive. Uh, in 1992, the Government of Canada designated October as Women's History Month, making uh, the beginning of an annual month-long celebration of the outstanding achievement uh, that uh, women and girls have made throughout Canada in their contributions. And uh, I thought I would uh, do things a little bit differently rather than we have to celebrate the women who were here uh, in the past and uh, got us to where we are. But uh, I thought I'd uh, celebrate the ones who are making history now and uh, go from there. The, uh, our guest this morning is Pauline Rochefort, who is the first uh, woman uh, to be the uh, mayor of East Ferris. Good morning, uh, Pauline. How are you today? Oui, good morning to, to you, uh, Mr. Roda, our Member of Parliament. It's an honour to be with you this morning. Well, the, the pleasure is all mine, and uh, it's never Mr. Rhoda before. No need to make it Mr. Rhoda now. <laughs> <laughs> we'll set the ground rules straight. <laughs> Now, maybe if you could talk to some of the volunteering you've done and some of the work you've done with different organizations, uh, just just to give us an idea of how you got where you are, because I know being a mayor is not an easy thing. I've been on city council in right. North Bay, and I know what that's like, uh, and uh, you're on the front lines, and I have a great uh, deal of admiration for uh, m mayors and councillors. Um, well, for me, I certainly am very fortunate in the sense that I come from a family who has always thought public service is important. Um, so in this particular, uh, so I follow, for example, in the footsteps of uh, at a municipal level, my uncle, Paul Rochefort, who was certainly, uh, along with Bill Vrybosch in this community, uh, two of the longstanding mayors who made a tremendous impact on the footprint for our community. But I also have relatives uh, such as Bernal Gramait, who served at a provincial level as Minister of Municipal Affairs. And, and we know that in the Ottawa, great, greater Ottawa area has made an impact in communities such as Vanier. So I have some of that in my blood. And I recall from an early age thinking it was important. I always thought I would, I just loved my community. And so I had that uh, from the very, very early age for some reason this uh, uh, a need to uh, to go out and to work on behalf of my community. I was very fortunate as well to have a spouse who supported me in that direction. So um, uh, I did have uh, the, uh, as you mentioned, uh, Anthony, the, the pleasure of working in different communities across the country, uh, in Northern Ontario, uh, in uh, Quebec, and as well positions that brought me across Canada and as well North America. And it meant that my spouse also had to relocate to follow me. And I always, whenever I have the opportunity to single out the company Cascade, uh, that is a Quebec-based company, La Compagnie Cascade, they encouraged uh, and supported my husband in our transfers. And so on three different occasions, they transferred my husband as a result of my work. Yeah, that's one thing about elected officials, uh, uh, having a supportive spouse is uh is key to success i mean it's very difficult it's a difficult job to begin with but uh without a spouse who's supportive uh it just makes it that much more difficult i know i'm thankful for chantal and ron is a is an amazing individual he's there with you all the time i noticed that you've gone to école secondaire at Gonquin, oui. where you graduated l'école où je suis allé uh, vous êtes dans un petit village un, un village qui est très bilingue alors être oui. bilingue c'est très important aussi alors offrir les les services dans une culture ou dans la langue euh, qui est natif, non seulement à vous, mais à une grande partie de la communauté est très importante. Alors, peut-être parler un peu de ce que vous faites pour faire sûr que la culture franco-ontarienne euh, est forte dans la région. Mais bien sûr, euh, effectivement, oui, nous partageons euh, la, cette histoire-là d'avoir euh, également... Euh, à avoir été à l'école secondaire à Gonquin, comme vous dites si bien, une, une excellente école. Ici, à East Ferris, on, selon le recensement de 2016, à environ 30 de la population, un tiers de la population, se déclare bilingue. Donc, à avoir une, une excellente connaissance de la langue anglaise et de la langue française. Mais à mon point de vue, la, la population comme telle 
et, et au-delà de ce, ce, ce chiffre-là comme tel, parce qu'il y a tellement de gens qui euh, sont dans des familles maintenant mixtes, euh, mais quand même où euh, le respect et le patrimoine francophone demeure. Alors, nous avons ici, par exemple, euh, euh, comme telle, à Storville, une école saint monacain qui est une, une école qui va très bien, est à pleine capacité pratiquement maintenant encore. Et nous avons à Corbeil l'école Ferris Glen qui a un programme d'immersion qui est très important. Et également une autre école qui va très, très bien. Alors, euh, ce sont des, des, des institutions importantes au sein d'une communauté qu'il faut, faut bien assurer la, la survie afin de pouvoir continuer et jouir de nos deux langues officielles. So we'll go back to English now, and um, we've got a lot of people who think about going into politics. And you're a prime example of someone who who went into politics uh, first as a deputy mayor and then uh, as mayor. Do you have any advice that you would offer to women who are thinking about being elected to city council? Anything that you can pass on to them? And I do want to note that I, I am fortunate to... Um, uh, be a female, a woman, uh, in our community, on our uh, municipal council. I do follow in the footsteps, however, of a councillor. There was a, um, a, 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 a resident years ago, Marie Mallette, who was our first councillor. And so it, for me, it's the opportunity to follow now as the mayor. We also had a, earlier on a candidate, Madame Eliane Gervais, who years ago, I still remember her, I, I think it was in the 50s, she was the first candidate. She did not uh, win, but she certainly was the first a trailblazer in East Ferris as a female municipal candidate. But we're very fortunate at East Ferris. We have a young, uh, I say young, I uh, uh, well, I think she would appreciate being described as young. She is a young mother and a, um, a young female counselor. Um, uh, and so on that note, she is a prime example of a, uh, of a woman that is working, that has a, a family with young children and has been able to navigate through all of that. And, and, um, and so, yes, I think it's a matter of what is important. There's always uh, people get involved in a lot of different um you know, organizations, and often uh, when you have a young family, you tend to get involved with where your children are at. But I think it is good role model for your own children to be involved in politics and to show that it is important, a community is important. Uh, on that note, I, uh, I'm very delighted to see that, for example, in some of our committees, we've attracted uh, uh, young female residents from East Ferris to be on the, for example, um, the Parks, Recreation and Culture Committee or uh, on our uh, library committee, for example. And so I would encourage citizens to continue to get involved. There's, and so there's various avenues, obviously, is what I'm saying. Well, I like that. I, I like the idea that you're, it's a shout out to all young women who want to get involved in uh, the municipality of East Ferris to come on out and uh, and get involved in the in the uh, committees and uh, the special projects. So we'll, we'll put that message out there. It's a joint message between uh, Pauline and I. To everybody, come on out and get involved. <laughs> and I think it, it, it is essential for each and every uh, person, each and every woman out there to not hesitate to let their light shines, to let their talents. Uh, so I... Uh, recently, I was at a school at a, at a class at a class at uh, uh, I and that is what we spoke of. How do we each individually let our lights shine? I think the world is a better place when we don't hesitate to step forward and take our, our place. I very, very wise words. I want to thank you for joining us this morning and uh, being so inspirational and uh, putting the message out there that, yes, uh, in individuals can make a difference. And uh, that, that passion really came through. So I want to thank you, uh, Mayor Pauline Rochefort, the mayor of uh, East Ferris, for joining us this morning. And I want to remind everyone that October is Women's History Month. And let's take a look back and see what's been done over the years by influencing influential uh, women, both in the sciences and the arts and politics, and uh, really study what they've done. But let's look at what we're doing today to make Canada a better place and make it stronger. Alors, merci beaucoup à vous tous. Uh, thank you again. Merci.